In this video, I want to quickly summarize what we've learned about styling in Next.js. We started off with global styles. We learned that to add a global style sheet to our application, we need to import the CSS file within pages slash underscore app dot JS. Underscore app dot JS is also the place to import any global external style sheets like Bootstrap, for example. We then learned about component level styling. For component level styling, Next.js supports CSS modules using a name.module.css naming convention. We also learned about the support for SAS. Next.js doesn't support SAS out of the box, but all you have to do is simply install the package in the project and Next.js will take care of the rest. Both global and component level styles can be specified with SAS. Finally, we had a look at CSS in JS styling solutions. We had a look at inline styles as well as styled components where we had to wrap our component in underscore app.js with the theme provider. Now, you don't have to learn all of them. Pick the styling approach you find the easiest and just go with it. But I hope this section has given you a good idea of what is supported by Next.js. With that, we come to the end of this section on styling. But we still have a few more topics to learn. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the next video.